Wade Watts was one of my heroes. Today, he's in heaven. As a black minister, he was continually assaulted by the Ku Klux Klan. One day, they set fire to his church. Brother Watts chose to forgive. He chose to love them. Every time they would call with threatening calls, he would share the love of God with them. It was amazing. One day, a miracle happened. The Ku Klux Klanman that set fire to his church accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And Brother Watts invited him to come and preach in his church. Brother Watts said, Half my people didn't come. They thought it was a trick and they were going to be bombed. But that day, Johnny Lee Clary preached in Brother Watts' church. Brother Watts had adopted a young girl that had experienced a hatred against her father and their family. and She didn't want anything to do with God. But that day, the clansmen that got saved preached in their church. She gave her life to Christ. Miracles happen when we choose to forgive. Here's Johnny Lee Clary to tell his side of the story. Reverend Watts and I, we became best of friends, and uh, he named me Godfather to Tia. And uh, he and I started getting invitations, and we started traveling around the country holding revivals. And then when we would find out where there was a Klan rally, we would go hold a rally of our own at the same time the Ku Klux Klan was holding a rally. We would hold it like, you know, a couple of blocks away and advertise, come see the former uh, Imperial Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan with his best friend, the leader of the NAACP, and learn how love overcame hatred. Uh, Reverend Watts and I, we traveled around the country and spoke at different uh, places, and, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better friend. In 1998, I got a call from his son, and he said, uh, Johnny, he said, Daddy's asking for you. He's in the hospital. And uh, I jumped in the car, and I drove down there. And I said, Wade, I said, you know, I lost my daddy when I was 11. I said, I never had a dad, but I said, and I know I'm a grown man and everything, but I said, you've been like a dad to me. I said, I've known you for years, but I'm grateful for the seven years that you've been my best friend. And I said, I really appreciate it. And I said, I love you. He said, well, I loved you just like you was my own son. The most important thing he ever said to me, and he had said it before, and I could hear him saying it again, that the best way to overcome an enemy is to make a friend out of him. And he did. And that's what his life was all about it was because of forgiveness if Wade Watts can forgive me of all those things that I did to him then there's no excuse for me not forgiving anyone there's no excuse for anybody out there not to forgive I choose.